Hey guys, how's it going? I am actually on a one night stay at a pretty nice resort hotel near Hangzhou. I don't have time really to record a conversation because uh, I'm just doing family things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to defer to a past version of me um, years and years and years ago before YouTube, before my channel and everything existed. Um, I was invited to join an event where we were going to a school where a um, older gentleman, a teacher, one-armed man, saved a woman from a river. I was accompanying the television crew that was going there to uh, tell his story and uh, it was quite special and I think especially today, especially this period of time, it's kind of good to share a good story of uh, a Chinese person risking his life to help uh, another human being. Um, I actually met the guy with my own eyes, so it's not even anecdotal. It's literally something I interacted with, so I thought this might be a good opportunity to bring up some of those old videos. I got a lot of these old video stories to tell, and maybe I can use the conversation series, you know, in conjunction with my travel vlogs to tell some of these older stories that I felt were really nice and really cool but i never really knew how to tell them or where to put them in the whole timeline so anyways i let me defer to my old mat and you can follow the story of the one-armed hero teacher let's see do some handshake and show face handshake and show face i like that it's almost a german word handshake and show face handshake and show face handshake and show face <laughs> How's your coffee this morning, Matt? It's a little bitter. What did you get? Mesha Cafe. Just, yeah. Standard Americano. Standard. Should be the same every time. Uh, I have an invitation going to Fanghua for some... Somebody gets an award for saving somebody's life. And I actually wanted to give him some of your good wine. Live, exactly. And today uh, yeah, he uh, will be, sorry, will be in the you. news. To, uh, Tongue TV, tongue. whatever TVs will be there. And tongue tongue. No, What's, going no, 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 no. What's going on with that? What's going on with that? Let me do it, what? no problem. The island. Die you. I don't know. So no I news. try I try to get no it somewhere news, right? nicely placed for the newspaper. Japan if you Europe. wake up earlier, you <laughs> yeah, see right. you could have Well the first <laughs> results of the election in America are in. Alright, what's the deal? The first first district voted, finished voting. Yeah. It's a very small district. Only ten people voted. Okay. <laughs> five and five. Uh, it's even. It's game. Five people voted Obama, five for Romney. So right now, at this very moment, officially, in all of America, it's a 50-50 tie. But maybe Romney is as good as Bush and knows how to <clears throat> recount the votes? Yeah, yeah. That would well, be there's always Florida. We always got Florida to mess things up. We've always got Florida. It's a good t-shirt. Do you get some sleepless night? <laughs> Did you sleep last night? I'm driving. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm driving now. I'm driving now. I'm driving now. Did you get some sleep last night? Did you get some sleep last night? Last night. I like. This girl at the uh, Ningbo TV, I she's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know, so you know this, right? I know it's in Norway yeah. for 10 years. Did you get some sleep last Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I think we really need more people which are like this, just doing something without thinking about their own risk and just helping people. That's how it should be. 
So this guy was uh, doing Chai Chi by the river and he, he was doing his morning routine and he saw a lady in the water and he jumped in and, and decided to help her, tried to help her out, but he only has one arm. So he was trying to save the lady and get her out and uh, he had one arm wrapped around her and he was trying to get out of the water but he couldn't because he only had one arm and that one arm was wrapped around the girl. So the villagers came down and they lent down a rope, but he couldn't grab the rope because he didn't have an extra arm. So the villagers wrapped a, a knot and he was able to get his stump around the knot and they were able to pull him out. And the story doesn't end there because what ends up happening is he ended up um, just going a, 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 along with his morning routine, went home, changed his clothes, got warm and uh, the villagers actually sought him out and honored him. It's a good testament to the goodness in people. So now we're going to go into the school and see what else is going on in there. Eckert is the ambassador to Tunko, so he was the one giving the honors to the man because he is the ambassador of tourism. Mata? Nice mm -hmm. no. to meet you. Who's a vagrant? How you dive it? How the pang you? Mr. Gong, Zhao Shui has been here for He has 40 yeah, years yes. in teaching experience. 40 years. Yes, oh, okay. and in rural areas. Oh. 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 He is very good on the bicycle with one yeah, hand. He does with many, many kilometers yeah. long story. So 80 kilometers with he's one a, hand. Oh. He's very passionate about oh. bicycle oh. guy. Oh. <laughs> Now, Mr. Gong is a teacher in Tiantong, and these are his students right here. Ni hao. Hi. <laughs> Hello. 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 And they're learning English, and he's teaching them. And just a couple of days ago, he pulled somebody out of the river. It's kind of a, uh, a nice, happy tale. Right? Happy? You know the word happy? Gao xing a. Ni xi wan ni lo lao shi The school here is, is fairly poor. They only have two computers. And the Laosha teaches a class with one arm, his left hand, and he has to kind of like figure out how to teach class with his left hand. Math, right? Nido da? Nina? Sha. 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 And the children here are very excited to see me. They don't probably get to see a lot of foreigners, let alone honoring their teacher and their principal. I can only imagine what it was like for me if I was back in the States and somebody, one of my teachers actually saved somebody from a, from a river. I think it would have been a pretty big deal. So these kids are probably very proud of their teacher, Mr. Gong. Ah, but he's got to lay down the law. Mr. Gong was not looking for any reciprocation. He wasn't asking for it. But the lady went ahead and sent him this banner. This banner in Chinese means hero because she wouldn't be around if he wasn't on that bank doing a little Tai Chi. Uh, I'm here with Eckert. Uh, Eckert, what is your role in uh, Tangto? Okay, first of all, Tangto belongs to the administration region of Ningbo. And Tangto is a village of about 800 families which have developed themselves over the last uh, 40 years from a very poor village to a 5A tourist location nowadays. And it's really done in their own efforts. You can, you can find some spirit of the old socialist cooperative system in there. And then uh, we, they came uh, to me, or we had this competition about uh, now two years ago in 2010. 
when the World Expo was in Shanghai and Tengdo was wanted to create a, a symbol figure for the development of their place. So they had the competition going on with about five or more than 5,000 people competing for uh, the um, title or the honor of becoming tourist ambassador of Tengdo. And what, uh, what are you doing today? What is your role today? The main role is to be a kind of representative uh, function whenever Tengto has uh, some special events, when Tengto has a situation like here which belongs to Fenghua in this case, they are calling me in and I'm, I'm glad, I'm feeling very honored to do this. It's a good opportunity to be able to like actually see these kind of instances and be part of the social aspect of China and, and be able to contribute to sort of these little things where you're uh, you're honoring somebody that's done something very nice and something very interesting or maybe rescued somebody in Mr. Gong's case. You know, so like... What I see for myself in this function is to show also to us foreign people that Chinese people have as many different faces as, uh, as we in the Western country. Too many, too many foreigners in, in China think there is the Chinese person, but this is definitely not the case. We have so many cliché and I'm happy when I can show every time that the cliché is exactly just a cliché, not the reality. Though Chinese people caring for each other, Chinese people are also very passionate, very, how you say, they have the heart at the right place when it's necessary. And there's also two sides, two sides. of the story yeah, and there's yeah. two sides of people, that's the same. Now, Mr. Gong is a teacher at, at this school. This school is actually opening a new face. This is the improved section. And this is how school life is in most of China. School starts at 7.30, it finishes at 4. They've got buses that bring you here. But the morning bus, it takes about an hour to get here. So the kids have to leave home at around 6.30. This is their life. They normally go to school all throughout the day and then afterwards, they're going to secondary schools where they will study math and science and other things and possibly play an instrument. Similar to school in the Western world in some ways, but it is very different as well. And it's a lot more about the, the sciences of math and biology and less about those fun activities maybe that we remember in the Western world. Mr. Gong is going to show us the rest of his new school. <laughs> huh? English, English class. This is the same view as my school back home. <laughs> That's sarcasm. The wheat field behind the school. That's more middle America and not Detroit. That's why Detroit is so similar, right? <laughs> Never, never in America, never would this happen to me, ever. <laughs> Even I'm in a movie in America, this would not happen to me. Only, if only the school goes over there, I can't Holy moly, that was a trip down memory lane. I haven't looked at those video clips in, geez, since 2012. Uh, I have changed a bit, and uh, and it was interesting to look back, especially some of the things we were talking about in the taxi. Anyways, I hope you liked that episode. Um, 
I, I just kind of pulled it out of nowhere to kind of edit it out. I'm back in Ningbo right now and uh, and I'm just finished editing. I'm gonna tack this at the end and then publish. But if you like some of these older stories, I, I have a lot of these kind of like little interactions and things like this. Um, <laughs> I can pull them out. So uh, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, if you're interested in hearing some more current event stuff, I have a Patreon and social media that you can follow. If you're interested in seeing my Chinese platforms, you can find those by punching in Jiao Mata and Billy Billy Toutiao, uh, Xiao Hongshu, and uh, uh, Douyin. And uh, yeah, take it easy, have a good one. Um, makes me wonder how that school looks today. Um, Teng To is, is a, bit, a, a bit of a distance from here, but uh, it would be interesting to take another look and see how the school looks and everything. But uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for taking a trip down memory lane with me. Mr. Gong, hero teacher. <laughs>